halfway point of the 250 West Championship would be a great one in Oakland, California. As the 32nd board counted down, the riders in the gate. Getting a good jump would be a key to the win here. Aldridge makes a great move to take over the early spot as he gets to the inside here and comes after Bell on the 44. Yeah, Zach Bell holds the inside line and then these two riders get together and Aldridge would be out front with the clear track for a while, but behind him, wow, was there some aggressive riding going on? Watch here as Malcolm Stewart makes his move on the Geico Honda to take the lead. Both of those riders looking for career first wins and Malcolm Stewart has had such a challenging start to his year would battle with Hill early on in this one. Yeah, and Hill was so fast all day long. It looked to be his night. But watch as other riders here, Cooper Webb, 17, your points leader, goes uh, trying to make some moves. Aldridge goes down hard. That would end his night. He would be OK. Here's Hill. He gets into the sand, tries to gain some time in that sand, which bit a lot of riders tonight takes him down as well. Such a treacherous section there, and Malcolm Stewart takes over the lead. Fortunately, Aldridge able to get up and walk off under his own power. Great to see Chris is all right. And two buddies, two riders that have been battling hard this whole season. Cooper Webb takes over the spot from Tyler Bowers, but that would not be the end of their rivalry here tonight. And Malcolm Stewart, who didn't have a ride in October at the Monster Energy Cup, secured one with a great performance there and goes on to career win number one here for the Geico Honda crew in Oakland.